Here's one for you. What if the sun, that big, bright, burning orb in the center of our solar system that gives life and light to our very planet was green? Sounds pretty stupid, right? But actually, hold on a minute because there might just be a little more to it. Hello, internet, and welcome back to the most inquisitive channel on YouTube, Life's Biggest Questions, your one-stop shop for hypothetical hyperbolic scenarios. As always, I'll be your host, Jack Finch, as today we curiously ask the question, what if the sun was green? Roll the clip. Granted, it may sound absolutely ridiculous, but stay with me because there is actually quite a lot of science behind this one. As children, there are a few fundamentals that quickly become apparent to us. The grass is green, the sky is blue, and the sun is yellow. But what if I told you that the sun is actually green and yellow and blue and red? It might be easy to dismiss that statement as complete and utter wishwash, but it's true. It's not like you could just tell by staring at it either, and please don't do that because your eyes aren't going to thank you later. It is scientific fact that the sun is a spectrum of colour, as are all light waves in the universe, and if we somehow flew up out of our atmosphere and stared at the sun, like in the International Space Station for example, it would be white. Wait, what the hell? So the sun is green, yellow, blue, red, and white? Uh, yeah. Kinda. Let's take a look, shall we? But before we jump into that question is, why don't you let us know what kind of fat-based videos you'd like to see popping up in your notification feed? Want to take a dive through hypothetical history? Want to find out what it'd be like if everyone had duck feet? Well, here at LBQ, we want to know what makes your grey matter tick. If that piques your interest, then speak your mind in the comment section below. Also, if you're feeling up to it, go ahead and show us some love or make a witty remark, and we'll be reading out some of your most creative comments at the end of this video. All right, let's go. The bulk of this question has a lot to do with how the human brain perceives colour. Colour in the electromagnetic spectrum, to be specific. And in many ways, it's down to how the brain tricks us into perceiving its most advantageous simulation of light. As I said previously, the sun is actually a combination of green, yellow, blue, red, essentially all colours mixed together. When you see a rainbow in the sky, that's our sun's way of peeping through the atmosphere via refraction to say hello in red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet wavelengths. Red is the longest, blue is the shortest. Ever seen a straight rainbow? Yeah, exactly. The same principle applies to a myriad of cosmological phenomena. At sunrise and sunset, when the sun is at its lowest point in the sky, it appears to us as yellow, orange, and red. An awe-inspiring time of the day when everything is warm and fuzzy inside, and you can wistfully contemplate your own existence over a cup of hot coffee. But at its lowest point, it appears in those colours due to a scientific process known as scattering, which is also the reason why our sky is most often blue. At that angle, when light radiation passes through our atmosphere, only reds, yellow, and oranges can pass through the heavy air-filled particles to reach our eyes, much like how small waves are dispersed by big rocks along a shore. When the sun is at its highest in the sky, that's when the shorter waves can make it through, primarily the colour blue, which hit the upper atmosphere, bouncing around in a scattering process and painting the sky in those bluey tones that we know and love. It's a widely considered theory that the reason we perceive the sun as yellow is because enough blue light is scattering evenly across our atmosphere as the electromagnetic spectrum passes through, making just enough room for the yellowy waves to sneak in. Well, what do you guys think? Because although yellow light does manage to sneak through most dominantly, the most visible light output of the sun, in actual fact, is green. So why then isn't the sun a constant burning orb of fell fire? Well, as I said before, it's because of our very human eyes and the very clever way that they trick us. Our eyes have red, green, and blue receptors, which for the most part do a great job of trying to compensate when faced with an abundance of light. The surface of our sun emits an energy of 6,000 Kelvin on the thermal spectrum, which peaks as the color green. Hence, technically, the sun is green, but it also emits a wide array of red and blue light, and when you mix those together, you don't get green, instead the brain creates a sensation which is complementary to green. The human brain perceives that sensation as white. but. That's not right, is it? White is not a colour. It's nowhere to be seen on the electromagnetic spectrum. It's not in the rainbow. When we ask the question, what if the sun was green? We should really be asking, why isn't the sun green? Why do we perceive the sun's thermal radiation as white? What advantage did this particular brain wiring give to our ancient ape ancestors? Or were they sitting around on a rock, staring at the sky and thinking, what the hell is that huge green burning thing? 
Well, unfortunately, folks, that's all we've got time for in today's video. But before we depart, let's take a look at some of your most creative comments in the past week. Matt Sedano says, as per usual, who the hell is this guy? I've never heard him. Well, wow, Matt Sedano, I hope I'm coming through loud and clear. Maybe I'll stand a little closer to the mic. How's that? Bjarke Johannes says, they did surgery on grape. And buddy, that's going straight over my head, but maybe you should speak to Charlotte. I think she's got an opinion or two on that one. Good to know. Well, cheers for sticking around all the way to the end, folks. As always, I've been your disembodied floating voice, Jack Finch. You've been watching Life's Biggest Questions. And until next time, you take it easy.